All right. Hi, everybody. Welcome to Daily Elastic Byte. My name is Lisa Jung, and I'm a developer advocate at Elastic. So this week, we've been focusing on Kibana, which is a product of the Elastic Stack. So think of Kibana as a web interface to the data stored in Elasticsearch. It allows you to search, view, and interact with your data. Now, what a lot of people don't know is that you could also add data to Elasticsearch through the Kibana UI. And this feature is called the File Data Visualizer. And this is a great tool to get small amounts of data into Elasticsearch for initial exploration of data. So during this episode, we'll go over how you can import data and make changes to the configuration of your data set. All right, so let's get started. Okay, so on the screen, you will see a Kibana homepage. So we'll scroll down to ingest your data section and click on upload a file. And this will take you to the file data visualizer page. And the types of file formats that you could upload are delimited text files such as CSV and TSV, newline delimited JSON, log files with common format for the timestamp, and you can upload up to 100 megabytes of data with this feature. So all you have to do is to select or drag and drop a file that you want to explore. And for our demo, I added an e-commerce data set. And to save time, I did this in advance. So when you do this, Kibana will analyze the first thousand lines of data and show you this data under the file content section. And you'll see that each line is a document which represents a transaction of an item sold. And under summary, it will tell you that data format is delimited by commas and it has header row set to true, meaning that our CSV file has a row with all the field names in it. All right, so let's scroll down to file stats here. It says our data set has a total of eight fields. So click on field name and you'll see the names of all the fields that we have. And if you click on field type, it'll tell you we have three types, keyword, text, and number. Now the rows below will provide a high level statistics about each field. So for example, if you click on the field country, It'll tell you that 100% of documents examined has a field country and has four distinct country values. And it also shows you the top values here, which shows you that uh, most number of transactions have occurred in the UK. So looking at the analysis of the data gives you a, a starting point to ask interesting questions about your data. Now, we can import data as is, but what if we wanted to change the configuration of the data set? So, for example, if you see this field right here, the field stock code, let's say we want to change this to stock number. So, all you have to do is to scroll up to summary, click on override settings, and it'll show you multiple options to customize your settings. So, for example, you could change the data format, timestamp, and you could also edit the field names here. So, to change the field name, all you have to do is to change it here and click on apply. Now, it'll take a few seconds to get that done. Now, when you scroll down to file stats, you'll see that field stock code has been changed to stock number. So the next step is to import the data. So click on the import button. And there are two options you could choose from while importing the data. And these are simple and advanced. Now, if you wanna import data as is, you would go with a simple option. All you have to do is to specify the index name that you wanna use and click on import. Now, mine says the index name already exists only because I created this index in advance for our demo. So this error message won't show up on your end, and you'll be able to click on import as long as you put in a unique index name, right? Now, if you want to customize your index settings, mappings, or transform your data in some way, then you would use the advanced option. 
So let's talk about the index setting. So these could be configuring the number of shards, replicas, and different analyzers. And these are configured for you by default, but you do have an option of customizing it here. But for initial data exploration, it's really not necessary to configure this. All right, so let's talk about mapping. So when the file data visualizer analyzes data, it goes through each field and identifies the field type. Now, this is also done automatically by default, but at times you'll want to define your own mapping before indexing documents. So for example, if you look at the field customer ID, you'll see that the type is long. But let's say you wanted to change this to short to use the smallest the space available. And you can make the changes here. So with advanced settings, you can customize your mapping before you create the index. Now, lastly, ingest pipeline allows you to transform your data before indexing. For example, you could use different types of processors to delete or create a field, enrich your data, and et cetera. So for example, let's say we I really don't need the field invoice number when exploring my data. So you go to ingest pipeline and you're going to add a processor called remove to remove the field invoice number. All right. So after you're done making changes, you can click on import. Now to save time, I've already done this in advance. And it'll show you that import is complete. And once that is done, you could search and analyze your data using Kibana DevTools. So go to the menu option, scroll down to DevTools and click on it. And it'll take you to this page. So just to make sure everything worked, we'll send a request to view the mapping of the index you created. And you will see that the type for field customer ID has been changed to short. Now, let's see if we remove the field invoice number from our document by retrieving our documents. Now you'll see that the field invoice number has been removed from our documents. All right, so that is a wrap for file data visualizer demo. So thank you for watching and we'll see you at the next episode of Daily Elastic Byte.